Hey guys, welcome back to Magic Pengel and the Quest for Color. So, I did a little bit of grinding, I did a little bit of work, and I got a lot of colors, and I actually redid all three of my doodles, so I'm just going to show you what I did real quick. As you can see, Baxter is now a totally beefy dude. He's got nice robot arms and a big sledgehammer, which I think is pretty baller. And he's got white cowboy boots, which is pretty cool. Um... We have Lee, who is quite genuinely a lot more terrifying than he was before. I don't really want to stare at him too long. And then we have Carl, who I made some sort of weird Tyrannosaurus Rex with a miniature lightsaber. I wasn't really sure what I was going for that one either. But yeah, I didn't really like my doodles just sort of being random mishmashes of shapes and colors and... Well, they didn't really look like anything, and I didn't really like that. So, I thought that I would actually give them shape, resembling somewhat what they originally did, but actually make them look like doodles. So, that's what I was doing for the last hour now. What we're gonna do now, is we're gonna go to the doodle preliminaries, because we love walking back and forth there, as I'm sure you know. And we're going to get into some fights, because it's going to be fun. It's going to be a magical experience. I simply cannot wait to make some children cry. That's what we've been doing a lot. We've been making a lot of children cry. For some reason, they take these doodle games a lot seriously than I do. Or a lot more seriously than I do. I just have proper grammar. But anyway, we're going to walk over there. There's a stylized stork we saw from a few episodes ago. We're just going to let him be. He's just dealing with his daddy issues right now because his dad left him when he was a kid and he wants to be more responsible than that to his son. Um, his mom, or his wife, was a cheating whore. She went to go sleep with a crow and now he is playing the role of a single dad. So, I really admire his story for that. Wow, I came up with all that on the fly. <laughs> anyway... Let's just get a move on then. There's that weird cable that just disappears after you walk for a bit. I have no idea what that even serves. What purpose does it conduct? I don't know. I don't know if I ever will find out. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that we're at the main arena now, and we're going to fight doodles. That is why we are here. Hello there, sir. This is yeah, blah, blah, blah. You, like, say you the same thing every time I see you. What I like having about, um, redoing my doodles now is that I have one of each type. So, I have options now instead of just, um, having all magic and one fighting. Like, how this most, uh, how this pretty much went for, um, most of the episodes prior to this one. So, it's good that we have a balanced team now. And what's even better, it was completely unintentional. Yeah, I didn't even try to do that. Do you really think you can beat me? Oh I god, you're a girl? <laughs> oh shit, you don't look like one. I am sorry. Um, Baxter, we're gonna send you out first. Cause you're it's more than likely she's gonna choose a magic type. So let's hope that's the case. And hey, well, I was wrong. Alright then, um... Let's go with an attack starting off. Oh! That's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, we're off to a lovely start already. Alright then, Milo, if that is your real name. You just used magic, so... Oh crap, you're probably gonna block next then. Or you can attack! I don't really know. I'm just gonna use Balloon and hope for the best. Fuck! It failed me again. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just got attacked well, by my own... Oh, cry, wow. We're really fault. not off to a good start, I see. Alright, so you just blocked. Uh, I'm gonna block two. Hope for the best. Hey! I actually did it! Cool. Alright. We're off to a good start now. We can turn <laughs> this around. Okay, so you just use magic, which means I should attack next. And I was right! Cool, we're turning this around. 
Here I was thinking that this was gonna go to hell, and now it's not. Oh, why did I... How did I hurt myself? Oh, it's because I was cursed. Alright, well now we know. Alright, you just block, so we're gonna use magic I'm now. Gonna win. No, you're not. Not on my watch, bitch. Oh, come on! You were gonna use attack before! You were gonna... Fucking... Ugh... Seriously? That is a load of crap. That is some serious bullshit. I am not even gonna lie. Yeah, you punch that little girl in the face, Baxter. Good god. What a fucking monster you are. Um... You're going to attack next, I sense, because you just blocked, so I'm going to use magic. Oh no, you're charging. Alright, way to keep me on my toes. But, I'm still going to have to kill you. It's just how this is going to go. And let's just go for an attack and hope for the best. Oh, damn it, I couldn't go first. Uh, I only needed one more attack. Well, that was terrible. Alright, let's see. Uh, Carl, we're gonna send you in, because you're an attack type. So, statistically, you should do better. We're gonna attack. Now you're charging again. Stop doing that. There we go. That's what I like to see. And there we go. We have our first kill already. Nice work, Carl. You, you used here. your beehive, I see. It's where you keep your brain. Your massive, massive brain. Go ahead, bring out your next one so I can kill it. Oh my. I don't even know what you made there. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna hope you're gonna use your special, and I'm gonna block and... Oh, no, you're also blocking. I see. Well then. This is going to be interesting for sure. Alright, so let's see. You just blocked. That means you're open for magic. And you're also going to use magic. I can see we're going to go back and forth using the same attacks. It's alright, though. I can live with that. As long as I'm still dealing damage, that's all that really matters to me. And let's see. I'm going to attack now, because you were stupid enough to use magic. Alright. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. Oh, so close. Alright, well, I'm just gonna block gonna and hope for the win. best. And hey, everything worked out for the better. Excellent. Boy, there are a lot of weird doodles in this. Back here. I imagine the dev team must have had fun designing them. You can't be better that must have been a really cool job. And... You're a gentleman's caterpillar thing. I don't really know. We're gonna charge for this. That way I can deal more damage with my next attack, and I can be prepared for, uh, what you were going to use. Is Carl's defense increased? It's okay. I'm going to I've got to attack out the ass, so I'm fine. Oh, goodness. That was a close one. All right. Well. This will make you cry, um, but it's not my fault. Let's block. Hey! I was right. Cool. We didn't even need to get Lee involved. Uh, how'd you do that? Which is kind of good, because my redesign for Lee kind of scares the this piss out of me. This doesn't prove anything. <laughs> well, okay, be a smug bitch then. I won, you lost. That's all I care about. Deal with it. Anyway, what I unlock? I got colors! Cool. And experience, though I don't really know what experience does. And... Cool. I can draw more on my doodles. I should probably get on that. Let's head back and do so. Hi there. You've been showing up to a lot of my games recently. Yes, I have one in the preliminary match. You've earned the design part palette. Cool! So I can draw on the parts of Doodles now. Wow, 
Well, thank you very much. I'm glad someone can appreciate me. Hey, were you watching? Hey. Oh, you want one? Nice work, Taro. You're not completely useless like I thought you were. I'm grateful that you proved me wrong. Well, that's just great. Taro isn't completely fucking useless. I had a feeling that was going to be a case, and he was just going to be the comic relief for all of this. I can glad to see I was proven wrong. He's much less depressing of a character now. Anyway, now I could be, uh, begin traversing back. What fun this is. Um, yep. That's pretty much it. We're just gonna walk back. All the way back to the house. That small porta potty house. That I have no idea how three people live in. Unless maybe it's a TARDIS and Zoe is actually the doctor. Boy, that would be one hell of a plot twist. I would love for that to be the case, but it's probably not. Because, you know, copyright laws. That and it would be stupid as all hell. So, a few reasons, I guess. And hey, I was right, there's a cutscene. Hey, child. Have you seen a strange kid around here? You'll be in big trouble if you don't tell the truth. How are you gonna know? I... I haven't seen anyone. Smooth, Zoe. Smooth. I told you. I haven't seen anyone. That's not going to stop them from looking. God, you guys are complete pricks. I mean... Literally, this is like four kids' level of violence. What were they thinking putting the sign here like this? Oh, what's in... Huh? What's in the box? <gasps> oh, it... Oh my. Is... He just get... Never mind. We still have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Oh my god, did he just get this attacked by my... Land now. Oh we'll wow, I forgot all about that one. Gold. If Galileo hadn't left, then none of this would be happening. <laughs> Do you kids have any idea how much one million gold is? <laughs> is it a million Sign gold? Oh my goodness. Child shenanigans. One million gold? I can get that. Do you really think you can come up with that much? So is the only thing that defines Marshall as a unique That's character said, is his mustache? Because otherwise he looks completely identical to the rest of the guards here. Ha! Foolish child. Very well. We'll wait that until and he's the distinctly more of a over. tool than the rest of them. I'll get the gold. You just wait. Superb voice acting. <laughs> You guys are really taking this well. I mean, you know, they're repossessing your house here. How are you going to come up with that? Oh goodness, there goes my doodle dong again. Oh, <laughs> wow, look at him go. Oh, you were hiding in there. I knew it. Oh, and he died. Well, that works too, I guess. Okay, we're Dora the Exploring this again. I see. What's this? He's a doodle. He's well, how do you? Oh, I heard something. Oh my! A voice I've heard before. A familiar voice. That's crazy. He's a doodle? How does that even work? Granny, she might be able to help him. Um. Zoe, wait up! Are we running back to town? Again? 
But we just, I mean, really? Alright. Lee, um, you hold the fort down, I guess. Try not to murder him. And, uh, stop, stop plowing the dirt with your lower jaw. Why are you doing that? That's very foolish. Oh well. I guess we're going back to town now to talk to, um, Zoe's grandma then. Cool. Cool. You know, we could have just warped there with a cutscene. Or, uh, you know, we could have just waited for Zoe to come back with her. But no. We need to remember that this isn't a movie. Despite Studio Ghibli's wishes. So, we need actual gameplay and we need to go over there ourselves. It's okay though. Still a good game. I know I complain about it a lot, but it has its it has its strong points. Like I said, the story is pretty baller. It's pretty good so far. Except you know, maybe some of the stuff Mono does is a little weird. Hi. Yeah. We um. Something happened, didn't it? What's that? You need doodle medicine? Should I make some? Yes. Medicine requirements. Oh, I gotta grind for it. I don't have that much. Oh, I have to actually work now. Alright. Next time, I'm gonna have the blue um, color ready for this. So, I can just go ahead and make that medicine I need. Have a good night, everybody.